Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this HGLRC LED strip and LED driver on this drone frame. I have already done the unboxing and a detailed walkthrough of the wiring of this HGLRC LED strip and this LED driver here on my channel. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling the drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys here you can see there is the pin connection that i am going to use so here is the 5 volt here is the PWC and the ground. These are the three connections that I am going to use on this LED driver so as to be able to power this up and control this using my flight controller guys. So let's quickly solder the wire here before we can start with the connection. So guys let's quickly do the tinning before we can start connection of the wire. So we can put some of the solder here right from before. So this is the first one, let's do the second one in the same way. So this is the second one guys, now let's do the third one for the ground. So as you can see guys, my all three ports that I am going to connect is now properly tinned. So, so now let's quickly connect the wires here. First let's connect the red wire onto the 5 volt. Now let's quickly connect the PWM guys. So PWM is this one. So let's quickly connect the PWM wire. So my PWM wire is connected as well. Now quickly solder the ground wire. Let's heat the port. So as you can see all these three wires are properly connected now. Now guys, these are the four jumper pins that I'm going to connect with the jumper wire that came along with this module guys. Like I told you guys, I've already done the unboxing of all the components that came along with this LED driver. If you have not seen that video guys, please check this video out here on my channel. So let's push in this micro jumper connector here in the ports. As they are all identical guys, it doesn't matter where do you put which one so that's fine if you mix them up as well so let's put it like this so here my all four jumper wires are connected guys now what I'm going to do is to put it into this transparent packing that came along with this and shrink it all the way through so that it is all fixed and it does not move so the left wires and the right wires are going to be turned like this before moving this uh, transparent cover onto the top. So guys this is how it looks like once it is in the shrinkable cover guys. Now I am going to shrink it quickly. So as you can see guys here I have properly shrinked in the shrinking cover which has properly laminated this LED driver here. So now let's quickly install this driver onto my drone frame. So guys this is my drone frame where I am going to install this LED driver. As you can see guys there are two razors here on my drone frame. These are the plastic razors with M.2 screws uh, which is properly aligning with my LED driver guys. So I am going to install my LED driver here on this razors that I have installed on my drone frame. This is the back side of the drone frame guys. From here I am going to connect uh, these jumper wires onto the LED strips and then install the LED strips on the arm. So first thing first guys let's install this driver right here. This is the signal wire guys that is going through this center hole onto the front so as to be able to connect it to my flight controller guys. So this is how I'm going to install. So let's quickly install this driver right here on this razors using M.2 screws guys. So let's do this quickly. Let's make a hole here on to the top and then push the screw all the way through so that it is tightened up on this razor. Here you can see it is properly installed. Now let's put the second screw in the same way. So this is how I have installed my 
LED driver right here on the bottom side of my drone frame guys now this is the front side spacer guys and uh, I'm, I'm going to push in the connector right through this and then take it out from the side like this so this is how it is going to look like guys So guys, now let us connect the LED strip here onto the jumper cable on each hand. So before you install this LED strip guys, ensure that you are installing this jumper cable onto the inward port of this LED strip. Do not connect it to the outward port, it is not going to work. So ensure that whenever you install the LED strip, you are installing it in the correct direction. So let's install this inside of the port and then connect the jumper cable like this and push it all the way through so this is your first LED connection and this is how it is going to be placed onto your drone arm guys so ensure that guys you install this LED in the right way onto the side of the input of the signal wire so this is how you're going to install on the arms of the drone so now let's do it for all four arms quickly so the signal wire that was coming out of this led driver is going on to the front using this central hole now it is coming on to the front side guys this is the wire red black and yellow so this is what it is going to be connected onto the flight controller as per the connection summary that i have shown in my previous video guys so this is how it is installed guys now let us also install the shrinking cover onto each of this LED strip all you need to do is move this shrinking cover all to the way so that it is all enclosed inside like this and then shrink it using this heat gun now guys let me show that quickly how to heat this shrinkable cover I am going to open the heat gun and it is going to shrink the cover right here on the top heat it from the back side as well so guys ensure that you are far away at the time of heating otherwise you will burn your hand as this heating gun is really hot so you can see guys my shrinkable cover is now properly laminating this led lights so this is how i want it so i have done it for all four arms guys like this so ensure that you do it as well so as to protect your led light from weather and damage during the crashes so as you can see guys everything is now perfectly aligned guys now let me stick this on the back side of the arm of my drone frame using the dst that i have this is the 3m dst that i'm going to use to stick this one let me put this dst right here on the back of the arm and then remove the other side of the cover let's peel this off and then push this LED strip right here onto the DST like this so it stays at its place let me repeat the process for all the four arms and come back now guys since I have finished installation of this DST on the back side of each LED strip now let's reinforce this bond using some of the electrical tape so as to attach it here and here on both side of the arm so that it stays at its place at the same time it will be holding the wire coming out of the motor onto its place as well guys so this will do the dual role holding the wire onto its place and also holding the LED strip right on the back let's do that quickly while installing the electrical tape ensure that LED on the LED strip is not hidden so ensure that it is properly installed in the correct way like this so that your leds are still exposed so here you can see guys i have now installed the electrical tape here on the top side and here on the back side as well guys you can see the led strip is still exposed all the leds are still visible at the same time the tape is properly holding this both side at its place now let's install the tape here on this side as well like this and then give a quick round of twist of one or two turns of this electrical tape so that it holds all the wire at its place 
just like this guys as you can see the tape is now holding the wire that is coming out of the motor onto the motor hand and at the same time guys leds are not exposed as well and it is holding the backside wire which is coming onto the led as well so this will hold the led at its place during any crash or during the flight very firmly in addition to the dst which you have put on the back side of the led strip so as you can see guys i have finished my connection of the led strip right here onto the drone frame this is the back side of the drone frame guys on each of the four arm i have installed this led using the dst and the connection and this is the LED driver that I have installed on the back side of the drone frame guys. The, so the signal wire which is coming out of this driver is going through the center and going on to the front. So this is the red, black and yellow wire which is coming out from the center. So this is the place where guys I am going to install my flight controller like this. On my flight controller guys as you can see here guys I have a connection for LED 5 volt and ground. So this is where I am going to connect my yellow red and black wires so this is how i am going to do the connection on to my flight controller guys this was also the summary guys that we have done during the connection detail which we discussed in our another video so guys now let us quickly solder the wires coming out of the led control guys here as you can see the led control is there the wire is coming out of this with black red and yellow so yellow being the signal wire guys black and red being the power and the ground guys let's connect it onto the flight controller guys here you can see there is an led pin for led 5 volt and ground that is how we are going to connect it so let's quickly thin that pin So as you can see guys I have successfully tinned the LED 5 volt and ground let's connect the wire so first let's connect the ground which is black ensure that guys other wires are out of the way otherwise you will damage those wires at the time of soldering so you have to be very careful guys at the time of soldering. ground now is the 5 volt see the 5 volt is connected and finally the LED signal so this is it guys I have successfully installed the LED onto my flight controller guys here you can see the signal wire being yellow red being the power and black being the ground guys i have now successfully connected the led strip onto my flight controller so this is it guys this is how we finish the installation of led strip onto my drone frame guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies